Dr. Hairston, what have you found to be the, uh, the benefits that a school district can gain by tapping into military, uh, the military community? The, the benefits are, are twofold. We can move from the conceptual stage in terms of just thinking and talking about the ideas into something more practical and real world with regards to applying the knowledge and the concepts that we learn in the classroom and put it into some form of reality. Uh, Neil constructed this concept of learning by doing. And we, we recognize that our youngsters uh, are much more receptive to the learning process when they are engaged in the process. School districts get a lot of uh, access to technology through uh, traditional publishers and technology vendors. Why go with uh, your military contractors when you have uh, this other, these other products that have always been uh, provided to you? So often you, you, you fall short when you go the commercial route and you, it's like going to a book, book store. The same books on the shelf, they simply be, they have been uh, multiplied and duplicated. But all readers are not at the same level. We have greater customization with partnerships that are committed to just you, uh, with regards to Lockheed and, and, and North of Grumman, they clearly understand that this relationship is between us. And uh, the, the work that, that we want to, to do with them is for us. And I think uh, that personalization is so critically important. Uh, they are responding to our unique needs, and we certainly are, are taking advantage of the resources that they're willing to share with us. What motivates these uh, companies, these military contractors, to work with your district? And how do you need to uh, adjust your own operations and the way schools uh, run to uh, be a good partner? The motivation for our partners are, are fairly natural. They see this as an investment, clear and simple. Obviously, when we think in terms of uh, rising above the, the gathering storm, the document that was seminal in nature with regards to the shortage of scientists and engineers. Uh, you have to backly map that into identifying the pipeline. Do we have enough people who are interested in science and math that they want to become scientists and engineers? And the answer is resoundingly no, particularly when there's competition in, from China and India and other places around the world where uh, the same skill sets can can be had for uh, certainly uh, uh, with regards to scale of salary far less. So we have an opportunity now to make science and mathematics uh, more practical for our students and make it interesting to the point where there's an opportunity for them to identify a future for them. Obviously on the receiving end will be places like North Grumman and our education who will produce those scientists and engineers. Could you describe the externships that some of your teachers have uh, been able to do with these companies? The externships have been absolutely invaluable. Our teachers are well read, they are outstanding students, they have credentials coming out of the training process from higher education. But there's a gap that always has to be bridged and that is taking that knowledge, that theory, and putting it into practice. Well, they've been able to bridge that gap by going into uh, operations like Northrop and, and Lockheed and getting hands-on experience with regards to how to apply those technical skills and knowledge that they learn academically and bringing it back and, and breaking it down to our youngsters in, in more engaging ways and make it hands-on for them. So the whole idea is of making this information more practical for people. Finally, do you have any advice for school districts and school superintendents who are looking at potential uh, partnerships with high-tech uh, you know, military contractors and uh, other groups? I, I would advise anyone to take advantage of all the natural resources they have available. The learning process must not be construed to be something so formal and so rigid that it is unnatural. Uh, the most natural way of learning in terms of process is by doing. And you can do that very easily by uh, making practical relationships to things that are around you. Uh, learning is life. Science is life. Everything about us has some relationship to science. Everything about us has some relationship in terms of dimensions to mathematics. Very, very practical concepts. 
unfortunately, we have made it so formal and so structured that we've taken it out of reality. It's now time to put it back into a more realistic form.